Man, would you guys believe I got both of these for 20 bucks total? Yeah, I wouldn't think so. What is going on everybody? My name's Earl here and it has been a while since I've uploaded anything on this YouTube channel. And so I'm gonna make up for it with this double, triple. Well, it is technically triple. Give me one sec. There's another MacBook that this guy who sold it to me who does a lot of storage auctions gave me. And this is a MacBook Air 11 inch with a big dent on the display. And the display is completely cracked if you could see it clearly over there. But the reason why I didn't include this is because this is an older 11 inch MacBook. Specifically, I believe this might be a 2011. It has the older MagSafe, but it does have the newer Launchpad F4 key. <laughs> Without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and tackle both of these MacBooks here right here. So long story short, I was browsing the internet and saw this. I got this on Facebook Marketplace, which is probably one of the most shadiest places you can get a MacBook from. And the guy was selling a whole lot of MacBooks, so probably around like 30 MacBooks, and this wasn't included of them. It got to the point where it's about $10 each. And what caught my eye was this MacBook Air 11 inch, 2015. And the reason why this is so special is because this is the last year they produced this 11 inch form factor, which I really adore. Going inside a box, we didn't really have any charger, but we do have a lot of original throwback nostalgia user guides. And in fact, we actually have Apple stickers right here. Look at that font. I haven't seen that font in years, probably back in eighth grade, <laughs> but let me see. This has no power. However, the good thing about this MacBook is that it actually charges. So if you give it a couple of seconds, it will show that it's charging right there. By the way, guys, I just moved into a whole new place. So as you can see, the background is green. Can't do anything about that. <laughs> Not a fan of it, but I don't have a choice either. Anyway, this is a 2015 MacBook Air as well with the matching serial number box. And this should work. I remember this working and turning on. It's just, let's see if it even turns on. As far as I remember, this works with no issues. The issue is the fact that this battery is very, very, oh, actually it just started up. You see right there, it worked. It even says it has 100% battery, but basically the battery is broken on this and we need to replace it. So if I could get one MacBook working out of these two, I would be perfectly happy because for 20 bucks, I got myself a free MacBook. Now, mind you, if we go ahead and check out the specs right here on the back of this box, which is also matching by the way, this has the 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5. This computer has a very much limited memory capacity. And even with eight gigs, you are really pushing it in 2024. The reason why we can still use this computer in today's world is because this has an SSD. It's a, all right, let's go ahead and see what this thing has inside. And wow, that is very clean. So, oh, look at what we have here. So these are stickers where it shows if there has been any liquid contact. And it seems like there is with this one right here. I'm not sure what this liquidy look around the SSD. The best part about these MacBooks is that you only need to replace a couple of screws, take out the battery, and that's pretty much it. You could easily replace it. No glues involved. All right, there you go. Battery out, and let's go ahead and swap the one from the other. Last one. Oh, we have some puffy ones right here. Not good. Seems like this battery cannot be used. This is what you call a spicy pillow. And the difference between that and a regular battery is humongous. As you can see, bad battery. This is also bad battery. And you could really see there's so many factors when it comes to lithium ion technology. And I'm sure this one probably just went bad normally. This one probably overheated a couple of times and expanded. Speaking of damage, you can see that is completely rusted right there. And we got some corrosion right here. Is there any else? Yeah, that's very interesting. I think, you know what would have happened with this? It's probably some sort of corrosion and it probably short-circuited the battery and it expanded it, I don't know. 
Good news, folks. Guess what I found? This is a second-hand battery that I found in my storage. I'm not sure if what the condition of this battery is, but it seems like it's relatively flat. Let's go ahead and see if this charges. Hmm. Fan started booting up real quick. But again, not charging. That is very, very interesting. And it looks like this is holding power off camera. I cleaned up thermal paste. So we're gonna go ahead and put some new thermal paste on this computer because it needs it badly if it even works properly. Yeah. All right, so now that we have screwed everything together, hopefully this thing will work properly. I'm not sure how long this will last or there could be any electrical issues considering there are a few signs of this being exposed to water, but never know until you try, right? Looks like the fan is spinning 100%, but it still isn't showing any signs of charging, and it says 100%. I hope this is just a software glitch. Updating this computer, I just realized 2015 can actually natively support macOS Monterey, which is hilarious because I guess this is one of the newer machines that I have in my collection. <laughs> the whole time, I was wondering why OpenCore Legacy wasn't working. But no, it's just the fact that this 2015 can support Monterey with ease. Surprising fact about this MacBook Air 2015 is the fact that it actually has the upgraded 250 gigabytes SSD, or I, I believe 256. I believe they come with 128, 256, and 512 for the 2015 year. I'm not sure if the battery is being charged because it's still at 45% and it's not really showing signs of it. But if I unplug it, as you can see, it's still alive, so that battery is still good. Good morning, ladies and gents. It's totally the next day, and I did not wait until the next day because of this computer, totally. Couple of things though. There's a lot of things wrong with this computer. Number one, the fan is maxing out pretty hard. And if it wasn't for max fan control, this thing would be screaming right now. And I don't know what it is, and it, there's definitely some sort of liquid damage in this computer. Second of all, this computer is not charging at all. I left it overnight to see if it automatically charges itself, but no, it's still at 35%. And in that matter of fact, it is discharging overnight. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this computer after, most likely for parts. For this video's sake, we're gonna see what we can do with this 11 inch MacBook Air. Taking a closer look, that is definitely not a misunderstanding. That is 2046 cycle count absolutely ridiculous so there definitely there's probably some sort of uh, performance loss when it comes to down top of power adapter as a power source that's not great to start but overall we're gonna go ahead and still talk about this computer because this is honestly still one of my favorite computers of all time this 11 inch right here and I still remember back when they were out regularly for about $8.99 or I really wanted this computer back in middle school or <laughs> you know early high school anyway let's go ahead and open google chrome and see how long that opens and as you can see it takes a bit definitely takes a lot of time and it looks like we're already using half of the memory going back now that we have connected the internet let's go ahead and go to youtube as you can see it is a bit sluggish and i'm not sure if that's because of the limited memory or all the other compromises this computer has been experiencing the past couple of hours now because there's some sort of damage on the internals of this computer what's going on everybody my name is put it a full here. screen and what i have here is a 2009 macbook that i made a video of last week what's different about this video speakers are actually fantastic on this thing Let's go ahead and change this to this is 720p. So this is probably the highest resolution you'd ever see on this display because I mean 720p it's a 768 display, so you won't really notice the difference once you switch to 1080p. I don't know, this computer is just slower than usual in my opinion. Let's go ahead and check out the specs on this computer using every Mac right here. It has the i5-5250U. I believe this is Broadwall. Yes, this is a Broadwall, 14 nanometer. You know, I mean, overall, this computer back in the day was not supposed to be targeted for pro users, more like casual people who like to go to coffee shops and, you know, have their very thin MacBook that doesn't really impact their daily lives, unlike the MacBooks back in the day. I mean, actually, even the MacBook Pros back in the day with the Retina MacBooks, they were still fantastic. So this is the time where it's getting to the point where 
the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air are really similar when it comes to thinness and thickness and overall how heavy they are. And for a while, they had this similar spec until 2018 when they finally released a Retina MacBook Air. The display on this computer is surprisingly not bad. I actually really like it. It's not sharp, but it's also not really low quality. And because this is an 11 inch, it's really small. So I believe the pixel density on this computer is rather quite impressive. And look at that, 18 hours of battery life. Back in the day, I believe these can get about nine hours, 10 hours. I, I know for the fact that 13 inch models can get about 11 to 12. <sighs> Man. I do think these designs are still relatively, it's still a fantastic looking device. You know, I don't really care about how thick these designs or these bezels are. I'm surprised by how good these things still look and how light they are. I mean, I wish Apple with their much newer improved, you know, thermals with their M chips would make something similar of these size. But I guess it's not really that popular, is it? I mean, the closest thing would be the fanless 12 inch retina back in 2015. But if you don't want an iPad, this is the way to go. Apple wants to target a lot of the 11 inch users to the iPad Pros, which are similar size to this display right here. But an iPad is still not a Mac. I mean, no matter how much you say, no matter how much Apple says anything about the iPads, you can't use anything on the iPad aside from their dedicated apps like Final Cut or whatnot. The limiting factor of these computers is definitely the four gigs, unfortunately. Once that memory swaps, it's like a double-edged sword. You might gain a bit of performance by having swap SSD memory, but it's still slow enough that it really doesn't matter, to be honest with you. It's still honestly horrible. You can browse the internet fine. Going back to what I was saying, you're also a few generations back when it comes to macOS versions because once you hit Sonoma with these computers, they're not fantastic. They really are very much limited. Monterey, honestly, for a matter of fact, is already starting to show its age with this computer. It's not fast, it's also not slow. Now granted, this computer, this specific MacBook Air 11 inch has a lot of compromises in itself. I still think if you get an eight gig i7 MacBook Air, I still think it might be worth it for maybe 150 bucks or something like that. If you're paying more than $200 in a MacBook Air, I don't think I would get it because you could get the Retina MacBooks, you could get the Retina MacBook Pros of similar era, which are still fantastic by the way, especially, and they have an upgraded display and they're really not that thicker than this. If you're comparing apples to apples, they might be just slightly thicker, but not really entirely. And I think it's manageable. Let's talk about this computer specifically. This computer that I built out of two MacBooks that I got for 20 bucks total. I am not complaining about that. $20 for a computer that is almost fully functional. I mean, you're compromising a lot of performance because it's not charging, it's not doing this, it's not doing that. I'm not complaining. It's really not that bad. And I mean, I could quote unquote watch something on this or use this as a Spotify machine or you know a music machine. And I think it would be fine. It's just, there's still a lot of compromises when it comes to that limited memory, but you know, what can you do, right? What can you do in this world? Now, another option would be to move this to Linux, which would probably give you a better leverage when it comes to utilizing that memory. I just don't think that's worth it because that you will lose a lot of that Mac specialness to it, you know? So, hey, it is what it is. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. It's good to be back. It's good to be making these machines come back to life again. I'll see you guys later. More to come. Peace out. All right, so after studying a couple of days, I realized there's actually something wrong with this computer. And um, it also has to do with corrosion and liquid damage. And that's this little connector right here, which connects, as you can see, to the MagSafe charger. And so if this isn't soldered properly, that would mean one thing, and that is you're really unable to charge this thing. And the thing is, I'm not sure if I caused this or was it because of corrosion? Because liquid damage is right beside it. As you can see, the indicator shows that there are some liquid damage in this area. And so I think what happened was liquid probably got into this connector right here, desoldered it from corrosion, 
and basically ruin the charging capabilities of this logic board. Now, there's a couple of things I can do. Either resolder this thing, or just leave it as is and just forget about it. I don't really have any expert T's when it comes to soldering. I don't think I'm really able to do anything at this moment in time with this computer, but this is the problem I found. To give you guys the context, I plug it here, it doesn't do anything. If I push it hard enough, yeah, you get the idea. It's, uh, it's broken. 